Well, guys and girls, uh, it might be time for us to uh, face reality and come to terms with the fact that it's looking extremely likely right now that we will not have a 2020 college football season. Good morning, it's Uncle Lou here. Yeah, that's right, it's me, Uncle Lou, live for you on YouTube today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. I post college football videos almost every single day of the year, even in years where we don't have a season. And unfortunately, uh, right now, at this moment in time, uh, I th this is the most, I think, likely it has been at any point that we don't have a season. It, 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 very bad news yesterday on multiple uh, fronts, of course, starting with the MAC making the announcement that they're going to cancel for 2020. And you say, what, well, that's the MAC. The MAC is an FBS conference, the first FBF, uh, S, uh, FBS conference to make this decision. We had some smaller schools and conferences do this, uh, yeah, the Ivy League, the Patriot League, um, a handful of others. Not nearly as big of a deal as the MAC canceling as they are the first FBS conference to do so. They're one of the group of five conferences. And we've seen the domino effect before. In fact, we're seeing it right now with players opting out. It's very hard to be the first person to do something, or in this case, the first conference to do something. The more people that, that, that then do that thing, whatever that thing is, the easier it then becomes for other people to do it. Uh, the, the, the first person to opt out of the 2020 season, that, that had to be a hard decision to make. Well, it's hard for any player to make, but it becomes less hard the more people do it. And we've seen that. Um, it seems like every day that goes by now, we've got more and more players uh, choosing to opt out for the 2020 season. If you go back to March and April when this thing sort of first started, it was uh, very similar. Uh, if you remember the uh, conference tournaments were going on in basketball, as soon as one conference made the decision uh, to stop, the dominoes started to fall, and it, and it seemed like overnight uh, everything was gone. Um, the, the NBA was the same way. Uh, it just, you know, it, it was just the domino effect. And, and I'm afraid right now, uh, that that's what we're about to see with some other conferences uh, when it comes to college football. Uh, and, and I really think there's two uh, major issues sort of converging here um, at the wrong time or the right time, I, depending on how you look at it, I guess, that, that could cause this season uh, – uh, to be canceled. I, I think the first one, obviously, is the coronavirus. There's no bigger college football fan than me. I say this a lot. Uh, there are millions of people who love college football just as much as me. It would be impossible to love it more than me. I, I, I just, I, I, I could, I, I could talk for an hour and not accurately express my love and passion for college football. It's been uh, a huge part of my life for the majority of my life, and I absolutely love um, college football. And the, the, the emotion in me wants to see college football. I, I want to see it in three weeks when it was supposed to start, pandemic or be damned, regardless of what, it, what you think about it, real, fake, serious, not serious, whatever. I, the emotion in me, I want to see it. It's pretty easy for me to say that, though, uh, because there is literally zero risk to me for college athletes playing football that there's no risk involved for me. And, and so I understand that it's a much tougher decision uh, if you're actually one of the players that has to go out there and play, or if you're an administrator uh, at one of these conferences, whether that be an athletic director, a school president, um, a, a conference commissioner, I, I realize that those people's responsibility in terms of the decisions they make and what they want to see are far more important uh, than my own. Um, I, I don't have any decision-making power. If the powers that be decide to play college football and something bad happens, there's no repercussions on me. 
if I'm an athletic director, a school president, a power five commissioner, and I make the decision to play and something goes wrong, you know, what sorts of liabilities might I have? Um, you know, some of these conferences are trying to get players to sign waivers, coronavirus waivers. And my, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to justify that. It's hard for me to justify that. Um, if, if the coronavirus is such that it's okay for the players to play and practice, I'm not sure what the need for a waiver uh, would be. It, 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 it's hard to justify, to me anyway, it would be hard for an athletic director, uh, a Power Five commissioner, anybody like that, to, to look into a camera and say, it's safe enough for the players to play. But we also are making them sign a waiver in case they get really sick or die, uh, that they can't sue us. It's hard to make those two things make sense to me. Um, I, I, I clearly want college football, but I don't have to make the decision. I don't have to live with the consequences. If they decide to have the season, I will be, I'll, I'll, I'll be ecstatic. If they don't, I'll be devastated in more ways than one. But I try to remind myself that, you know, I'm not the I'm I don't have anything on the line legally, uh, morally, uh, or anything. Uh, you know, if it goes wrong, it doesn't come down on me. It's going to come down on the decision makers, and I, I understand that it's a hard decision for them to make. Should money play a factor in whether or not we have college football in 2020? The obvious answer is no. But that's also the easy answer. The reality is that while no one wants to say that money is, is the uh, overriding factor here, which I don't think it is, by the way, it's, but it is a factor. Um, and I don't think we can ignore that. It would be devastating for college football to cancel the season. It was devastating for them to cancel March Madness, though, and they did it. Um, it was devastating not to hold the Masters Golf Tournament here where I live in Augusta in April. It cost this community untold millions. Um, Major League Baseball has lost a ton of money by delaying their season. The NBA, the NHL, all these soccer leagues around the world that have that canceled. So does money matter? Yes, uh, it, it, it does matter. Um, is it the predominant factor or the only factor? No, un you know, it's not. Safety, player safety, health and safety, community safety, these things have to be taken into account. I get it that the virus is very controversial and has become political. Um, and, and honestly, I don't know. I, I you know, I, I, all I know is what the, I see the same things you see. I see the same studies you see. I see the same odds and percentages uh, that you see. I don't know uh, any more or, or, or less than any of you that are watching about this uh, virus. But again, whatever I feel about the virus, if I'm wrong, it only affects me. That's it. If, uh, if if an athletic director or a school president or a power five commissioner you know sends the kids out to play and something goes wrong well you know that could you know that that i think you understand the point i'm trying to uh make i i don't the responsibility doesn't rest on these shoulders i don't have to make the tough decisions i think it's a lot easier for people like me and you watching this video to say let them play, you know, 99.9% .9 survival rate. They, uh, 18 to 22 year olds rarely get sick from the virus. I, I believe all that is true. I believe all that is true. Um, the, the problem is it's, if, 
it only takes one player, not even to die, but to get hospitalized or have to be on a ventilator or um, develop some sort of uh, long-lasting respiratory issue that then prevents them maybe from going to the NFL or whatever. And, you know, what would everybody say then? So while I want to see a college football season, I, I, I'm trying to understand the immense responsibility and pressure that the school presidents and athletic directors and, and conference commissioners are under because they're the ones that actually have to make that decision. And they're the ones that would have to suffer the consequences if it went wrong. So I'm, I'm trying to keep those two things in mind and balance those two things. So clearly the coronavirus is a factor here. I think there's a second factor, and this has uh, been reported yesterday in multiple places that there are some athletic directors, school presidents and power five commissioners who are more worried about the long-term effects of the players organizing than they are the effects of the coronavirus for this season. And that there has been some discussion and chatter amongst the athletic directors, conference commissioners, school presidents, et cetera, that maybe we should cancel the season to prevent this growing which seems to be growing by the day, uh, movement uh, that the players have. Uh, they, the players have suddenly come to this realization that they have a lot of power when it comes to college football if they organize. Um, if whether you know whether you want to call it a quote unquote union or not, and I don't know the legalities of forming a union and what all goes into it, and I'm not going to pretend to. I don't think it really matters, though, whether they're actually a union. If you if you really have hundreds of players from multiple conferences, and right now it's the Pac-12 and the Big Ten, if if you really have hundreds of players from 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 multiple conferences that are willing to come together and speak with one voice, what you know, you know, with demands or suggestions or whatever you want to call it, or threatening to sit out or whatever they hold a lot of cards, the players do. The Power Five does not want to give up that power. Um, I I think in terms of when you talk about the money aspect and what effect that might have on whether or not we have a 2020 season, the players organizing would have a much more uh, impactful uh change on the 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 wealth in in college football than not having a season for one year because of the coronavirus if the players somehow uh fulfill their threats of organizing and having demands and wanting to be paid and revenue sharing and all these kinds of things if that happens that will cost the power five millions and millions and millions over the course of the next hundred years every year as opposed to canceling one college football season and taking a huge hit for one year to sort of chop the head off this movement and hope that it goes away in a prolonged off season and things just get back to quote unquote normal next year. And, and you might think that sounds crazy or far-fetched that they would cancel a season just to prevent the players from organizing. But you're starting to hear a lot of chatter about that. It was all over the internet yesterday. And I'm not just talking about people with four followers on Twitter. I mean, there's uh, Sports Illustrated, CBS Sports. There was multiple articles out yesterday um, with sources that this is a huge concern uh, for the powers that be within the Power Five. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, th there's a lot of speculation that this could be a really bad week for college football, potentially the worst week in the history of college football. College, a college football season ha hasn't been canceled in 150 years. Uh, and we are closer right now to that happening, I think, than we have ever been. Um you know, I don't know what, if anything, at this point, any of us can do. It seems like right now, uh, 
the wheels are in motion and, you know, certain things are going to happen and I, I, I don't know what we can do uh, to stop it or um, uh, to stop it or uh, or change it. Um, I, I, in a million years, I never would have thought a college football season would have got canceled. And even when it looked really bad a couple of months ago, uh, you know, on the morning show, me and BVD would almost every day. All right, what's your what's your percentages today? You know, having a season or not. Both of us were almost always over fifty percent that we would have a season. You know, and uh, I, I don't know. Just just right now, it just doesn't uh, doesn't look doesn't look good. Um, you know, lots of stuff flying around. I don't know what to believe. I'm not telling you any of this stuff is, um, you know, etched in stone, but this, you know, this is just what I'm seeing and hearing and, and reading that the big 10 could cancel as soon as today, uh, with the PAC 12, uh, being the next to do it. Um, and, and if, you know, if that happens, you know, the Mac, the Mac is bad enough, you know, the first FBS conference, there's 10 FBS conferences, you know, we got, we're, there's one down. It's a group of five conference. That's bad enough. If you get a power five conference that cancels, it's going to be almost impossible, in my opinion, for any power five conference to play. If even one goes down, I think they all go down. I don't see how, uh, I, I, ju I just don't see how, I know the SEC or somebody within the SEC, it might have been the commissioner of Sankey, back in April or May said, uh, you know, e even if we're the only ones playing, the SEC will play. It's easy to say that in April or May. Uh, if you notice, you haven't heard him say that lately. I, I, I just, I find it hard to believe that, uh, you know, you would have a situation where even three Power Five conferences were playing. I think if one goes away, whether whether they all cancel in the same day or whether it's, a, a, you know, happens over a two or three day period, I just find it hard to believe that uh, uh, any of them would play if even one chooses um, chooses not to play. So, again, I, I hate to make a video like this. I, I In fact, I, I think, I know I've talked a lot about this on the live channel, the coronavirus and stuff like that, because we do a lot of news stuff there. I think, though, this is the first video I have made on this channel about the college football season and coronavirus and whether it would or would not be played. Um, and I've tried to stay positive. I've treated this off season the same way I've treated every other off season. You know, uh, when we got to June and July, I started pumping out the preview videos. Uh, now the majority of those preview videos are worthless. Uh, the schedules have been completely changed, but nevertheless, you know, and I knew that was going to happen. You know, I just, uh, you know, I put my head down and I marched forward like I always do. And I'm going to continue to do that. I'm making this video now. But if we don't have an announcement of some kind today, I'll be back on here tomorrow making the same type of off-season videos I always make, whether that's another preview video or, uh, you know, some sort of topical video about college football or whatever. I'm, I'm not about to turn this channel into a thing where every single day I'm coming on here and saying, oh, no, no, today, today I think we're not having a season. Oh, tomorrow, oh, guess what? I changed my mind. We do that on the live show. That's not what this channel is for, but. Um, like I said, there's been ups and downs over the last three months when it comes to college football, you know, Oh, we're going to have it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're going to have it. Oh, maybe not. Even on the maybe not days. Um, we never had any news as bad as what we had yesterday. It was just a bad day. Uh, look around, you know, Google, uh, Google college football, 2020 season canceled or whatever, or go to Twitter and search it. You can, you'll find all this stuff that I'm referencing out there, but just a lot of smoke right now a lot of smoke um that that the, that the football season could be in in jeopardy i hope that's not the case like i said there is no bigger college football fan than me a lot of you love college football it's the same as me probably all of you uh, but it would be impossible for somebody to be a bigger fan than me i want college football so bad i can't stand it uh, to me there are two seasons not summer spring winter and fall no to me there's football season and there's off season. Um, and I spend the entire off season waiting on the football season. Um, I, you know, it, it, it's, I don't have a whole lot of hobbies, uh, but, 
But the amount of time I uh, invest in college football more than makes up for that. Uh, and I promise you my family would attest to that. Uh, but uh, anyway, I, 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 I contemplated whether or not I should even make this video. But like I said, the, the yesterday was a dark day for college football, I think. And this week uh, could could uh, yeah, could be really bad. I, I, you know, I hope not. Uh, you know, do your, do your prayers. If you're a religious person, do your thoughts. If you're not, uh, you know, the whole thoughts and prayers thing, I thought, well, it should be thoughts or prayers, uh, do thoughts. If that's what you do, do prayers. If that's what you do, uh, do, do one or the other, uh, based on your belief system. But, uh, and if you got any favors to call in, uh, now would be a good time to do it as it relates to college football. I don't know. Do you know, uh, do you know, do you, do you know the big 10 commissioner call him, <laughs> you know, do you know any of these school presidents or athletic directors call them? Uh, are you a big booster, a big donor? Uh, you know, have you been getting season tickets for 50 years? Call somebody, email somebody. It's I'm, I'm telling you, uh, it, it's, 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 it's dangling by a thread right now. And, uh, you know, Honestly, at this point, I think it would take uh, some sort of miracle to save the college football season. And I hate to say that, but you know, it's just uh, uh, it's just not looking good uh, right now. Hope I'm wrong. I, God, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow with a regular college football video. Uh, you know, unless the rug gets completely pulled out today, which I don't expect to happen, but. Like I said, I haven't addressed this really on this channel. Uh, and, I, you know, unfortunately with the news yesterday, I thought today was a good time to do it. So appreciate you guys watching. Have a good morning.